Ladles and jelly spoons, how lovely to see you. Now, you may be wondering why I've asked you all to gather here today. Oh no, I've got much something different. Anyway, look, so, mm, sadly, I've not gone much further, but uh, I need to get my finger out because, yeah, because I need that wall for the weekend's uh, review, which may or may not be this item that we've got here in the box. Now, I bought this recently, as you can probably see, because it's uh, all wrapped up. And, well, it did, well, let me tell you a quick little story. For a start, the guy who was uh, selling this um, was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I, so it's a Gibson, sort of, and I offered to send him a case. There was no mention of a case, usually. So I said, I'll send you a hard case if you like. No, 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 he said, it's okay. I've got a vintage guitar wooden case. Now, I have no idea, but it is, you know, it got like a million, hundred percent feedback, so uh, everything looks okay. So let's see what happens, and let's see what this vintage wooden case looks like. What I reckon is, of course, it's not come in a box. I can see the handle. I can see the handle here sticking out. So he's uh, clearly uh, wrapped it in gaffer tape. So uh, now I can see a bit sticking out here. So let's try. Oh God, this is going to be hard. Mm. Perhaps that isn't necessary. So let's start peeling some of this. Oh, right, that was that. Yeah. On to plan B. Come on, let's have, the, let's have the knife in there and see what to, to we can do. Obviously, gingerly and carefully. And I to, I, I've got to confess that I'm very... Oh, I see, it's got... See, it's got that uh, black, black bin liner recently, it could even be a black bin liner for that matter, uh, to obviously protect the case from uh, any sticky stuff from the parcel tape that is used. Ooh. Now, he did say that the. Um, oh, what did he say? Oh, yes, yes. He did say that the interior of the case was, uh, you know, old and moth-eaten and why have you. And let me tell you something. If I do do a case revamp again, I will not be using expanding foam. So let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. This is hopefully not going to be too bad. So do you? Ooh, I say. So that really is. Oh, this really is an boy. Look what it is. Yeah. Well, uh, we will. Oh my god! That is a. It looks like painted plywood. Initially, oh, I'm still not sorted out in here. As you know, I'm normally slightly better organised than this. But see what happens. This guy, is, uh, is he, what's his name? Is it Dave? Anyway, uh, clearly this guy is an experienced packer and poster. Can't see that, eh? Oh, it's a. Now, is that not starting to look coffin shaped? 
we've got yet another oh blimey I like that so we've got yet another coffin guitar case that's it so I've got a coffin guitar case for a bass and a guitar shape one now as well bloody oh look at that oh look at that how cool is that love it the jazz conference so let's visit round and see what we've got first impressions 11 out of 10 oh, latches work all right oh bloody hell I am th I am absolutely thrilled beyond thingy. He supported the neck. We've got loads of packing. Nom nom nom. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to do it now. I've read loads and loads and loads of reviews on these, and they and they are Gibson. Gibson Baldwin. Actually, even smells, smells, smells minty. Smells of Uncle Joe's mint balls. He's slapping the strings off. Uh, what? 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Terrific. Loving that. Let me pop this here and shift the case, which I'm liking a lot. Got. Yes, so the reviews that I've read about these, and I'm sure that you'll have uh, seen the same thing too, they are described normally as POS guitars. I didn't know what POS was. I thought that it was some abbreviation for, you know, either an electrical thing or, you know, a particular type of construction. Uh, but of course, and I, yes, I know, you'll be a step ahead of me. Uh, so uh, we will see whether these really are a POS or not. Well, uh, initial, uh, initial viewing indicates that the uh, string height has been set with half a brick. And just looking down here, I can see one of the first difficulties. Uh, let me see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but you'll see the nut is very very proud on the treble end can you see that yes that the nut is very very proud on the treble end so that i'll probably want addressing of course these are a bolt on neck and these were made i think for one year only was it there was a seven in it it was either 2007 or 2017 uh, I can't recall which just at the moment, but certainly I think these were on the market for one year only, the Gibson Baldwin collaboration, uh, where they were providing uh, budget uh, musical instruments for, you know, aimed, obviously aimed at students and beginners. But were they any good for a beginner? Well, they might have been alright, I suppose. But we'll slap it on the bench uh, and see what happens. So very probably uh, next Wednesday's Midweeker will uh, be having a look at what was wrong with it and then we'll review it in a week or two. I've got something already lined up for the weekend. Uh, so we have got one tone, one volume, one three position tone switch, two humbuckers, looks like humbuckers to me, but you never know, we'll have a look inside those, I will show you, and there's the back plate, which very clearly tells us which family it comes from. Got a bit of binding around them. It's a slightly, slightly openy booky headstocky thing, although it looks as though the spine has been uh, knackered at some point. But uh, yeah, you know, overall, nice and shiny. There's a 
little, little bit of marking on it here, uh, which, in, which in fact, weirdly, will be a very, very nice place to relocate the toggle switch. Although I can't imagine I will be doing that, not for a moment. Uh, so you can see, you can pick these up. They're cheap. That you know, you can probably pick them up for hundred quid, maybe something like that. I should think. Uh, uh, quite honestly, I'm as impressed with the. I'm guessing, 1970s, coffin case that appeals to me greatly. So uh, we will. Is that the end? The you know the tuners that the, they're not those horrible um, uh, capped jobs. They are at least decent looking seal tuners. Um, we've got a, a three screws on the truss rod plate there, and the usual kind of fret markings. Twenty two frets. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Binding, blah blah blah. Uh, not very thin. Doesn't weigh loads, but weighs in a bit. I think that now I think that some of these actually did say Gibson on them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Super. Super. Duper. So only a quickie because, as you can see, I've got some work to do. And uh, so I shall look forward to seeing you at the weekend with this weekend's offering. Is it over there? I think it is. So uh, it's uh, adios. I'm done really, really quick. So it's adios, amigos, and I shall see you at the weekend. Ciao.